What is going on everybody? Today, I'm excited to bring you behind the scenes on a photo shoot I did for a jewelry company that I work with. So, let's get into it. Like I said in the intro, this is for a startup jewelry brand that I've worked with. They were kind of looking for both photo and video out of this kind of ad campaign that we're putting together. The look we were kind of going for with this shoot was very elegant, sophisticated, but also happy and inviting. So with that, you can tell in these photos, there's a lot of movement, there's a lot of smiling going on. It's a very natural, bright, kind of feel kind of vibe out of this which i personally loved and felt it would also give a extra little edge to my portfolio but also be great advertising for this brand itself with these photos obviously the jewelry pieces were the main subject of the photo and everything else kind of blended together to work with that so this is why we picked a specific location that wasn't too busy but also kind of modern and fit that sophisticated feel that we were going for. Our model Shandy, who I've worked before, did an absolutely amazing job and perfectly fit the brief of what the client was looking for for their main face of this campaign. So breaking down the wardrobe, we kind of went for a business casual kind of vibe, just something that said sophisticated but still had a bit of a casual kind of feel to it. Also, there is construction going on right outside my window. So if you hear saws, jackhammers, all that kind of fun stuff, um, that's what that is. I just happen to be filming at the same time construction's going on. I'm not going to stop for them. They're not going to stop for me. So here we are. Now with this location, it actually worked out perfectly because it is at the, the center of a less busy city, meaning there's a lot less foot traffic. So we were able to have a decent setup right on the street. Like you can see here, I've got my cart there. We've got the lights, etc. I usually take a fair bit of kit with me when I go out on a shoot like this. So having a location that wasn't super filled with people was a big help. We also did this a little more towards the morning so that way not everybody was out and about yet. These are all the things you kind of want to keep in mind when planning for a shoot like this. So breaking down the gear that I used for this, my main camera is what I'm filming on right now, the Canon EOS R. Behind the scenes footage was recorded on my 6D, my backup camera, and the lights that I am using here are the Flashpoint Explorer 600s. Now I'm not sponsored by anybody, I'm just, these are just what I use because I like them and that, and that's, that's it. That's, there's nothing more to it. I like them, they work for me, end of story. You use what works for you, I use what works for me, and these work for me. So, now lens wise, I was jumping kind of back and forth between the 85-1.8 and the 24-105 f4. Reason for this is so that we could get the blurry background like you see here. I also had my 70 to 200 with me in case I wanted to use that, but I didn't really feel the need to break it out in this scenario. For any of the gimbal shots that you're seeing here, those were taken using the Zhuin Crane 2. I've used this gimbal for a number of years and it served me well. Again, not sponsored, just what I like to use. Now, the main images for this campaign, we are kind of looking for a kind of medium shot kind of vibe, something that was close enough to show the details of the jewelry itself, but something that you could also see the model's face in so you understand the vibe and the feel that the brand is going for. Then with certain other shots, that's when we would kind of punch in to show more details on the jewelry itself. Now, out on location like this, sometimes things are unpredictable. That day, it was fairly windy and it actually worked very well. You can see it was blowing the model's hair perfectly. And if it hadn't been windy, that is something usually I would try to fake anyways, be it an assistant holding kind of a card to blow wind, or if we have access to a wind machine, that kind of thing. Uh, but luckily there was enough wind where we didn't even need to resort to that. Now, the only thing that happens with wind is when you're using something like an Octobox, like I was, the wind can present an issue. So like you can see here, please always sandbag your stands and you'll never really have an issue. Also having assistance there 
who are able to grab a light in case absolute worst case scenario anything kind of starts to tip is always a great asset. Now being that the main focus for this project was the jewelry itself we had quite a few pieces put on together and one of the challenges with this is finding that fine line between not enough and too much. So during this we had to pare back a little bit and just kind of show a couple main pieces, make sure everything is kind of working well together and fits one way or another and goes towards the whole general look that we're going for. We didn't really want too much going on at one time, but we also didn't want it to look just like a portrait shoot with somebody who was wearing a nice watch or a nice ring or something like that. So we definitely wanted to make it clear that it was advertising the jewelry, but also not go completely bananas with it because th that it just wouldn't look good. And then there's everything everywhere, you know, the quote, take two pieces off before you leave the house. That's, that's what we did here to make sure we didn't go absolutely bonkers crazy with it. So keep that in mind for whenever you are styling jewelry. Just if it looks like it's too much, it probably is. So that's kind of when you just want to pare it back. Also working with teams like this helps you be able to kind of catch things like that. Now, the time of day for this, it was right around noon, 1 p.m. kind of thing. So the sun was out in full force. Now, with that said, we lucked out in that a lot of our locations had some generous shade there. And then I was able to add in light with my strobe to kind of give the look that you're seeing here. And then with that, sometimes you'd have a bit of the sun poking through the shade and I would use that to backlight the model, filling in the face with the strobe, creating a really pleasing and natural image. I love doing that where I just backlight with the sun so that way you don't get any weird shadows on the face. Fill in with the strobe and it's just a beautiful and flattering light pretty much every time. It works pretty well if I may say so myself. Now there is one setup here. It was our last kind of look for the day where to have the right background, the sun is right in the model's face and it is very unflattering. Now I had a choice here. I could have tried to overpower it with the strobe and maybe have a couple technical issues there, or I could do what I ended up doing. And that is to take the strobe, put it behind the model, to kind of backlight her, keeping in that backlit look, and then taking one of those tried and true five and one reflectors, taking the diffusion of it, putting it in front of the sun to block and diffuse that light, make it a lot more flattering. And that led to the look that you're seeing here, creating that consistent and flattering vibe throughout all the photos, creating one big story together. Now, if you want more of an in-depth breakdown on how to shoot in harsh sun like this, I have another video talking about that, which will come up right after this one. If it's already up, it'll be linked right here. If not, subscribe, come back in a week, and it will be there. You have my word, just watch for it. Now, all in all, this was a fantastic shoot to be a part of, and it also helped that we had an amazing team Shout out to the model Shandy. She did an amazing job as well as my very talented assistant Avi. Big shout out to just the entire team. Great people across the board and it really helps to work with people that you get along very well with. It just creates a much better experience for everybody and everybody goes home fulfilled and satisfied at the end of the day. This shoot, this campaign, it was not only great for the client's brand, but also gave me some great images that I am able to use in my own personal portfolio to get more work in the future. Now, with that all said, if you enjoyed this video, if you like the behind the scenes look and you wanna see more of it, drop a like, leave a comment letting me know, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos so you don't miss an upload, and I will see you on the next one.